And welcome back. So once again, we start off with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies across the region. We still have stayed mainly dry so far. We have not gotten that strong southeasterly wind that usually does get the humidity way up there and temperatures near 100, but still we're pretty hot for this time of year at 95 degrees. Wind southeast around 6, but the dew point is at 62 degrees, so a little humid, but not as bad as we have been, especially earlier this week. Other temperatures around the region, so we are warmer as we make our way out toward Broken Bow, Lexington at 98, so is Imperial, 95 at Ogallala, lower 90s at Hyannis and at Thedford. Here's a look at your winds. Now, they are flipping around from a southeasterly direction to more of a northerly flow. Wind speed's pretty light out there, 5 to 15 miles per hour in most areas. And as for that dew point, most humid air out toward Lexington, McCook, and even Valentine, uh, dew points in the mid-60s. But as is typical, drier air out toward Ogallala with a dew point of only 50 degrees. Still have that heat advisory that's in effect until 9 p.m. That is from Lincoln County and points off to the east. So watch out for that if you're spending any time outside. Other than that, as for the satellite and radar, all the storms are developing from Hastings points off to the east as we have a lot of sunshine out there. But taking a look off to our west, uh, we've got some storms developing from I-80 in the Panhandle into portions of northeastern Colorado. We'll see how far east these storms can get before they uh, start to dissipate. We'll see if they make it into our forecast area. We're going to keep that 10 to 20 percent chance of some showers and storms this evening. High pressure still in charge off to our south and to our east, giving us that strong southerly flow. And as for that cold front, it is approaching. We're going to get into some of that cooler air as we go through the overnight and especially into the day tomorrow. That wind staying from a northerly direction, high pressure working its way in, and that'll give us a lot of sunshine as we make our way through the weekend. So going through this evening, do have that chance of some isolated showers and thunderstorms before we'll start to clear out during the overnight. Temperatures falling back into the upper 60s, and then for the day on Saturday, Saturday, lots of sunshine out there and high temperatures into the mid to upper 80s before more chances for some isolated showers and storms, especially in our southern and western counties. But it looks like most of us stay dry for tomorrow. And then as we make our way into the day on Sunday, we'll keep more of the same. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies and temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 80s across the region before more isolated showers and storms will make their way in as we go through your Sunday evening. Now, as for the forecast map, the main low is still to our north. We're going to have that cold front kind of come through a little bit of a cool sector as we go through the day tomorrow with those highs only into the upper 80s. But another system makes its way through as a warm front. This low pressure system back here will keep us active as we finish out the weekend and start next week with more thunderstorm chances, a little bit of a southerly flow there too. So we will start to warm up from Sunday and beyond. Now, as for the 6 to 10 day outlook, this will take us from August 3rd through 7th. A little bit of a cool pool of air, especially over the Rockies. So we actually could be a little below average, average highs into the upper 80s this time of year. We look to fall below that, so temperatures on their way down as we keep more moisture chances ahead. And uh, we do have an above average chance of some showers and thunderstorms as we start off the first and then go into the second week of August. So we'll keep a slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms for your Saturday and Sunday as temperatures stay into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And then for Monday and Tuesday, partly to mostly cloudy, low to mid 90s, a little breezy out there with a chance of some showers and thunderstorms. We'll bump up that chance to 40% for Wednesday into Thursday, but cooler air does filter in, still partly to mostly cloudy as temperatures fall from 91 to 86 and 84 for next Friday. Partly cloudy skies, mainly dry, but another slight chance of some showers and storms. Kent? And it will be nice to get that brief break from the 90s. Yeah, temperatures uh, into the upper 80s are going to feel good. All right, thanks so much, Justin. The Mega Millions jackpot has now grown to about